put it in a bag. Is there anything else that I want? I could buy a range booster. Let's buy a range booster. That could be handy. And now let's buy a life edge. Let's buy a canteen, which is sort of like an E-tank that we can refill. And we'll buy some more life gauge. And another life gauge. Okay, we're broke. <laughs> Good spending. Oh, there's more people in here now. Yes, yes, I'm still a digger. Okay, shut up. I want to talk to the man with the hat. Man with the hat. <laughs> this fucking game's controls. I thought I got all the necessary equipment. I could be a digger if I had it. But then I found out that you need a license as well. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, Mega Man, what's up? Actually, hey, Mega Man, what's up? Why don't you take a look around? Okay. Done and done. Nah, fuck that can. Let's see what these guys are doing. We're having a secret meeting. Get out of here. Huh. If I'm careful, I should be able to get close without them noticing. Instructions. You can move slowly by pressing the circle button and a directional button at the same time. This will never be used anywhere else in the game. So yes, we can plod very slowly. Then... That girl looks suspicious, I told you. She has to be a pirate. She said she was looking for treasure. No one believes us. We gotta t get her ourselves. Hey, someone's spying on us. Oh, it's that blue guy again. Huh. Come on, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> the graphics are good. I know. Minecraft, eat your heart out. We got more goddamn vertices than you will ever have. Let's go inside the actual city, finally. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. See, how am I supposed to do a voice that high? That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at? Huh. That fucking hair, man. She could take off. <laughs> And then she's gone. She literally did take off. You do have to watch out for cars here. I should probably demonstrate that. Let's go ahead and look around town. Maybe we can find some things and stuff. It's a garbage bail. Is there anything inside? There's a refractor thing inside. You got ten bucks. Ten zenny bucks. My prayers have never been more answered. There's a garbage bail. Is there anything inside? You found a broken motor! Oh yeah, this is always good. It's a bus stop! There must be buses running in this city! You don't fucking say, asshole! <laughs> Where would they have buses? <laughs> it's quiet inside. Looks like everyone's evacuated because of the pirates. Garbage pail. Is there anything inside? No, it's empty. Like my soul. Another garbage pail. Is there anything inside? Nope. Again, empty like my soul. How about this one? <sighs> Why? There must be one of these with another broken motor or something awesome in it. I know for a fact that there is. Also, there's these drink machines. You can buy drinks. You can also kick them for full health if you want. But I won't. Hey! The lakeside resort area is on the other side of the gate. I figure if I had to evacuate, might as well go someplace comfortable. Now, this gate was already closed by the time I got here. 
It's horse apples, I tell you. Straight up horse apples. I know, the darkest trash. The most brutal of Mega Man. Nothing. <laughs> what about you, sir? You look like a square shoulder gentleman, like many others. I know everyone's afraid and wants to get away. But they should be more careful when they drive. You better watch out, too. And make sure you don't get run over. Okay, that's solid advice. Let's go in the library. We can learn some things and stuff. This is a library. I won't let those pirates close us down. I see. That's a position to take, I suppose. If the pirates throw up the library, that means the teachers can't make us read any more books, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hmm. I heard the, about the pirates coming, so I came to look up everything I can about pirates. Based on what I've read so far, it seems like pirates aren't a nice bunch of people, are they? Yes, you're very right, sir. I figured that after being evacuated, I'd have a lot of time on my hands. So I came to get something to read. Well, that's a fairly good idea. Actually, no, no, don't. Don't read these ones yet. We'll read this in a second. I forgot. You gotta start from the from the back to the front on these. Will you shut up about these Halon machines or whatever? Yes, Roll might understand. Because Roll is in control. Jump. Or just go around him. It's a book about ethics! Let's see. You can judge a man by his actions. People who engage in evil deeds will reveal themselves through their appearance, which will darken and become distorted, a reflection of their inner selves. Hmm, sounds like something worth remembering. Yeah, that's actually a thing in game. Remember when I said something about evil actions like kicking the can to the bakery? That will make make a man darker. I don't think it really affects anything in the end of things, but whatever. It's a book called Introduction to Digging. I remember reading this a long time ago. Let's see. Remember to improve your wapits whenever you can. Make sure you have the right tools, well, for the job at hand. You can choose to improve your weapon's firepower, the rate of fire, the range, as well as the reloading speed, which is energy. It also is important to think about your special wapits when you upgrade and when... Hmm, sounds like good advice. The History of Catalox Island, Volume 1. Let's see. This unpopulated island was discovered a hundred years ago. Some hundred years. Which hundred years? Well, it's not in the book. At the time of its discovery, the surface of the island was almost completely covered in ruined buildings. Catalox became well known after the discovery of high quality refractors under the island about 60 years ago. After the d discovery of the presence of refractors, it was also found that the island was riddled with underground ruins. Due to the various unfortunate accidents which plagued early exploration attempts, and the per persistence of rumors of a legendary curse or disaster, the majority of these ruins were sealed off from the general public. Thus, digging is permitted only to a limited number of ruins. As for the legendary disaster, it's believed by some that every century, an undefined presence that resides beneath the island awakens and destroys all life present on it. How the fuck they know that, I have no idea. It's the History of the Catalogs Island, Volume 2. Let's see. Research conducted by the current mayor of the island, Professor Emilio, shows that there are remnants of several different civilizations on catalogs. In other words, it appears that the previous inhabitants of this island have built a civilization many times, only to have it destroyed each time. This is believed to be the origin of the myth of the legendary disaster that apparently haunts the island and nukes everybody. Sounds like a great place to start a living. 
Well, there's obviously no specific scientific proof that catalogs is destined for a disaster or, you know, wide-scale genocide. Many people who believe the legend choose to leave the island for because they are sensible and, in fact, is decreasing the population. It's become one of the major concerns of the island in recent years. The walls and gates that divide the city into various areas are also remnants of ancient ruins, which continue to function even now. These walls, along with the ruins known as sub and main gates, are, the mo are a monument, rather, to the technological achievements of our ancestor society. Well, that's just peachy. We're almost done reading, folks. A digger's guide. Intermediate level. Let's see. Often, when taking damage from an enemy attack, you will be stunned or knocked down, even. You can lessen the effect by pressing the X button and breaking the fourth wall. I'll have to remember breaking the fourth wall. And finally, the operating the Hellon machinery. The Holland machinery. In Holland. Machines which use quantum refractors as their power source are referred to as Holland machines. This is the only time you'll hear about Holland machines. <laughs> While they are used for many purposes today, their original configuration purpose and means of construction remain unknown. Holland machines make use of the energy field generated by refractors when they are rotated at high speeds. The type and size of the energy field generated in this manner varies depending on the size and color of the refractor used. Some researchers have put forth the theory of the existence of a proto-refractor, a multifaceted prism refractor capable of energy production on a scale beyond that of the largest known refractor. I'm not sure if I get all of that, but maybe Ro would understand. Yeah, maybe. So that's just a little backstory there. Wanted to kind of lay that on you. Let's go ahead and move this fucking story along, shall we? I believe there is another pail over here that does have a thing in it, so let's check for that real quick. Oh. Don't hit me, please. Did I look at you before? It's empty. I'm almost certain there is, but you know what? Whatever. I know what we get from this as far as, like, item development is pretty garbage anyway, so I'm not really that... that devastated, shall we say. Also, if you want to go into a ruin, here's a ruin. You can just open up a manhole, you're in a ruin. There's not anything really down here, but here's a ruin. Actually, let's, let's check real quick. We're down here. It's got spooky noises. Let's see where it leads us. Well, this looks familiar. We're up on this top part where they were shooting down on us, those little bastards. Well, who's a little bastard now, eh, right, punk? Don't you shit in my general direction! Alright, so we've made our point now. Let's see, is this game an early action RPG or what? It's... Like, it really doesn't have enough RPG elements I call it an RPG. It has stat building elements. And you can certainly play it in a variety of ways, depending on how you build your special weapons. But, eh, it's just like a sort of 3D platformer shooter thing, Bob. That's the easiest way for me to describe it. Huh. There's that woman again. She's much taller than us, or at least slightly taller. It's probably just her wacky shoes, though. We'll take a look at those in a second. What do you want? You've been following me around all day, haven't you? No, ma'am. I've been in the library for the last 20 minutes. Sorry, but I don't have time to play with you. Just stay out of my way, okay? Okay. She has some pretty crazy shoes. That's probably why she looks taller than us. Huh. Don't... Don't you know that all civilians are supposed to evacuate this area? You've... You're just like the, that girl over there. 
don't you know that you're supposed to do what adults tell you? I should mention that, like, Roll and Mega Man are about 14 at this level. This level? This time? That's probably a better way to put it. Let's see. Police? What's up? I've done a lot of things since I joined the Force. But I've never had to fight pirates before. I hope we're up to the task. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you. You aren't. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm the day sex machina. <laughs> Only authorized personnel allowed up um, inside this office. I'm just ever so pissed. No matter how brave those pirates might be, they wouldn't attack the police station, would they? Would they? It'd be just crazy go nuts. Our job as poli police officers is to serve and protect the people of Catalox Island. That's good. I lost my wallet and I, while I was shopping. Can you help me? Uh, well, I'm blue, but I'm on the force. With these pirates running around, I'm glad that we have such a well-trained police force. I'm not here as a spy. Nope, not me. I figured that I'd hide here. I mean, at the time like this, the police station's probably the safest place to be, right? Oh, yeah. It turns out your grandfather, Professor Merrill, is an old friend of the mayor's. I didn't know so he was such a renowned archaeologist. Yep. So he's not exactly at the police station. Is he a cyborg or an android? That is yet to be revealed. Like I said earlier in this broadcast, he was found as a baby in a archaeological ruin by Professor Beryl. He was also found with a monkey. They were both inside a crystal. <laughs> so, <laughs> you tell me what you think he is, right? <laughs> You'll find out a little more later. Professor? Professor Barrel? Oh yeah, he's in there. He's meeting with the mayor. Please wait one minute. Is he a monkey? No, he was met with a, like a robot monkey. You'll see the monkey later. There, uh, Dennis Aaron. Thank you for waiting. Go on in. Hey, Mega Man! Come That's to check name. up on me, eh? Want well, to see if they killed let you? Let me introduce you to the mayor of this island, Amelia. Hello. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrels. Mm -hmm. I worked as his assistant for a while. While I was in school. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll Probably money. Anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure, but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it. It's probably some bullshit where the treasure's inside of you. I've been in the digging business a long time, but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? Okay. Thrill. Okay. Okay, believe it or not, we are progressing the plot here. Let's just go ahead and motor out of here. None of these people have anything really interesting to say to us. Oh, it's a dog! What's that all about? <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> I suppose we'll go check on Roll and see whatever the hell's going on here. Let's also see what these guys are doing. Are you friends of these here, kids? Haven't I told you that y'all have to evacuate? That girl's a pirate? Alright. Didn't your mothers tell you not to lie? 
She's come here to check things out, I'm sure of it. She's casing the joint. It's true, officer. My paprika's found the suspicious girl. She must be a pirate. So is this guy related to that one girl who said that he, she owned paprika? Maybe. You don't believe us, do you? Nah, you're a bunch of bastards. No one loves you. Well, there you go there, Dweller. Let's just take let's just take in the scene before we interrupt it. I just love the way she's up there, just get out of here! Get out of here! But he won't. <laughs> what are you staring at? I'm not a circus clown or something! Go on, get out of here! That dog. <laughs> Think now we can actually talk to the dog? There we go. Hey, cut it out! Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? Hey, hold on. Down, boy. Down! And then Paprika just walks away. Just like normal dogs would. You alright? <laughs> you you just mind your own business. Baka <laughs> surprised she didn't run into that other pole. <laughs> well that was good. Do 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 Doing good deeds and helping people, I'm goddamn mega man. Alright. Let's go talk to Roll and tell her that everything's peachy keen and nothing will ever, ever go wrong.